reversible and irreversible changes. We observe a lot of things changing around us. By changing, we mean to say change in terms of size, color, shape, position or state of a substance. Change can be in any form, sapling growing into a plant, burning of paper, ice melting into water and many more. The changes taking place can be categorized into two parts, reversible change and irreversible change. First, let us explain reversible change. A reversible change is a change that can be undone or reversed. A reversible change might change the color, shape or state of a substance, but it is easy to recover the original substance. A reversible change doesn't produce new substances. Whereas, an irreversible change is a permanent change that cannot be undone. A new material is formed and it is not possible to recover the original material. The new material produced after change is completely different from the original material. To have a better understanding, let us learn reversible and irreversible changes through examples. Reversible change Melting of an ice Put some water in the freezer of a refrigerator. It will turn into ice. Can we get back ice again? If we warm the ice, it melts and changes back into water. So, this process is a reversible change. Folding a paper You can fold a paper to make different shapes. Does it change the property of a paper? No. Only physical change in shape takes place. You can get back the original paper by unfolding. So, this is reversible change. Dissolve salt in water. Dissolve common salt in water. It dissolves in water to make a solution. Can we get back salt again? Yes, by heating the solution. When we heat the solution, water evaporates and salt remains in the beaker. In this way, we get back the substance again, so this process is a reversible change. Now let us explain irreversible changes. Burning of paper. When you burn a piece of paper, it bursts into flames and gives off a lot of heat and smoke. Soon, it ends up as black ash. Can we get back the paper again? You cannot change the ash and smoke back to paper. A piece of paper is burnt into the flame. So this burning of paper is an irreversible change. Germination of seed when seed is planted in soil, it germinates. The process of germination changes seeds into small plants. What kind of changes has taken place? It is an irreversible change because we can't get back the seed from original form. A 
fried egg. When you heat a raw egg to make a cooked egg, the fried egg cannot be changed back to a raw egg again. What kind of changes has taken place? It is an irreversible change. Because we can't get back the raw egg in original form.